So it looks like Domino is finally available to farm in the Blitz store. We got a bunch of Blitz orbs, close to 100. Hopefully we could get, I guess it's 10%, so hopefully we can get around 50. There's 50 in the store right now for 4.99 in case you wanna pick some of those up. I personally don't buy any offers, especially when they become farmable. I mean, if I'm gonna get something, it's gonna be from a character that I know I'm not gonna get for a while or I need it for an event or something like that. But uh, not right when it becomes farmable, even though $4.99 is pretty cheap. $5, 50 shards. It's a pretty good, I guess, offer for Domino. But the fact that she's farmable, I don't think I'm going to pick any up. But uh, yeah, like I said, we got close to 100 orbs to open in Blitz. Now it is 10%. 10% chance for those of you that have opened these Blitz orbs. When we had, I guess, Rescue at 10%, there are times when you opened 20 orbs and you didn't get a single rescue. But we're gonna try to get close to 50. I'm hoping 50 because I think I only need around 50 or 40. I think I need 40 in order to increase her to the next star. But let's see how we do. Um, not in that one. So that was 10 orbs, 10%. 10 orbs, you figure one of them, eh, you figure on average, right? But none in that one, unfortunately, boo. I still need uh, I still need Toad, so I'll take some of that. And then we get 15, so I guess it balances it out. Okay, so I could definitely use that. Let me see how many I had now. So I only need 25 more. That was a good drop. That was actually a good job. So three out of the 10 on that one. Not bad, three out of 20. Pretty good deal. Hey, another one. I'll take it, five of them. That seems about average. Gold is nice in this too. I still need Strife as well. So Strife is nice to get. Same with Toad. I have not leveled up either one of those characters. None in this one. So what have we got? 20 so far. There's one more. I guess if we're going to get them, they're going to appear at the start. So if I only show, so if it only shows one, then you know that that's all you're going to get. You're not going to have any, I guess, hidden. At least that's not how it's shown so far. One more. It's doing one out of 10 now. So like I said, if I'm around 50, I'm good. As long as I can get to the next star, we only need 10 more. I'll be happy if we can get to the next star. There's one more. Not too bad. We got tons of gold though. That gold's gonna be really helpful. I got so much gold orbs as well. I think I have over 50. We got some red star orbs to open as well. I'm gonna try to pull some seed theory. I've been doing it the last couple times and I've pulled some good stuff. I've pulled a seven star, I've pulled a six star. I'll let y'all see what um, what I have so far. I have two seven stars, three seven stars. I have three seven stars, a bunch of six stars. And that's with no, spending no money. I spent zero money, zero money on this game. I think in the entire life, well, I don't wanna, technically I can't say zero. Uh, there was one time I did buy a 999 pack for an event uh, because I need it was that one in which we I guess had the magneto five star and we had to have those certain orbs to open or certain fragments to open up those orbs I can't remember what it was but when we reached a certain tier we got gear and all that stuff and so I really wanted to get the five star magneto and something else in the gear with it so I had to buy some uh, about the 999 one three left and got some toe, got some gold. So out of 93 total orbs, 93, we collected almost half a million gold, which is pretty good. 15 toad, which is nice. Uh, I still haven't leveled them up. Like I said, 45 domino. Now that's just close to average, right? Just about close to average. 100 orbs, you figure you'd be about 10 of them. Um, you would be able to get about 10 of them, so. That's 50 shards. So that's pretty close to average. That's almost right at 10%. And Strife, we only had 10. That's no good. But Domino is what I wanted anyway. All the rest of them, I think I'm 7 star. Um, rescue, for sure. Maybe not. Oh, no. I am Scientist. I am Trooper. I guess I do have everybody else 7 star. Except for Toad and Strife. And now Domino, which is nice to finally be able to get her in there. Now, this is probably one of those cases. If it would have been X23, on the other hand, I probably would have bought the $5 pack in that case. Um, I pulled a 6 star one of her, I don't know, maybe like a week or two ago. 
and uh, still not farmable. So I don't know if that was if that was X23 in the Blitz store for 50 shards for 4.99. I definitely would have got that. But X Force looking pretty good. Domino is a good one to have uh, at a higher star. So she tends to die off pretty quick. Actually, with me, they seem to target her quite a bit. Uh, when you face the Merc team. I don't know why. Like last time I faced, even though Deadpool has the highest um, highest attack, uh, I don't know why, but they seem to attack Domino a lot. And X-23 I really like just as a character, Marvel character itself. And I have six stars, so that would have been cool to get her. Now as far as the roster goes, uh, I do have a couple seven stars, which again, these are just things that I've pulled using the supposed seed theory. You know, I don't know if I actually believe it, but I just do it just to do it, just in case it's real. I don't know if it is or not, but I've pulled the Colossus seven star ever since then, obviously trying to get the shards for that. Um, Ironheart seven star. I pulled that one maybe like a week ago, but that was from a five star red orb. So technically not from a regular one. Um, but still Ironheart's another good one. And now that she's farmable, it certainly makes it a lot better. I got lots of six stars, invisible woman, torch, Phoenix, black bolt. Some of those I've used by my upgrades and some of them I have pulled. Uh, Human Torch was a six star that I've actually pulled. Um, Mr. Fantastic was a six star that I actually pulled. I do have a seven star Cree Oracle. Now that's a winner right there. Uh, that was my very first seven star was the Cree Oracle. So I do have three of them, the Cree Oracle, Ironheart and Colossus. So two out of the three is pretty good. The rest of them are pretty low, five, four stars. Um, I don't think I have any other six star. I got quite a few five stars, quite a few four stars. And uh, no other six stars though. So just a handful of that other stuff. I think from, if you look at the rest of my roster, then you can kind of tell that I'm a free to play player. But uh, for the six stars and seven stars that I have, I'm certainly happy. Hopefully we can get another one in the red stars we got now. Now I think this is another huge indication that I'm free to play. Um, yeah, Ebony Maw coming in a few days. And look at the work that I've put in on Proxima Midnight, Corvus Glaive, and Cole Obsidian. Not very much uh yeah. i'm gonna be able to get ebony maw this time finally I'm gonna be able to get him but um yeah i i it's probably gonna be quite some time before i am able to level all four of those characters up well i guess technically that was 70 percent of five percent so uh that was obviously just a little less so like four percent or somewhere around there so that was about a four percenter. Um, that's not necessarily, you, you kind of want to be in the under one percent. You kind of want to be able to get one that's the 10 shards, but I don't want to sit here and do this all day. I just want to open some orbs and that's what we're going to do. So let's get it. Hopefully we can get something good, uh, at least enough to be able to pull a, hey, we already got a one star. Now in this particular case, you'd want to back out and then you'd want to go back in, but I ain't going to worry about that. We're going to go till we get a five star or a four star which we just did. So let's go over there. And now we gotta go over to the five, or to the four star orb and we're gonna open that one. And we still got one four star, which uh, we already had. So that goes into the five star. How much we got to that? 2,500, we're halfway there on that one. But we do still have 10 orbs. So maybe we'll, hey, beast, there's an improvement. To a character that I won't ever level up for God knows how long. Give me all them one stars. I love them. Another three star. Another two star. See, now now it looks like we're in a pretty bad shard. At this point, you would probably want to back out. You'd want to stop. You'd want to quit. But you know what? I'm just going to keep going because I want to open them. So that's what we're going to do. We got a two star. Two left. Two star. Three star. And last orb. Oh, two star. So we almost got enough to open another one, actually. I guess we'll do the premium orbs as well. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, I can't remember if X23 is in here or not yet. Um, I still need a bunch of Minerva, man. That's who I really want. Still, Hawkeye. Fantastic. I love the buffs to the new Avenger team. 
Now, might as well open the Ultimus Orbs as well. Why not? I mean, we could save them for this orange catalyst crap, but uh, you only get one single, not for the catalyst, but the actual like bio gear, mutant gear, etc. You only get one piece of single gear, one piece. And for 10,000, I'd rather have five orbs. I'd rather open five orbs. It's good, I guess, for people that have seven star characters for everything. But uh, that's just way too much. I still don't even have ultimates leveled up yet. Completely. Not to 7 star. So we're going to open these. Daredevil. More dupes. Dupes on dupes. Mr. Fantastic. That is not fantastic. Hey, that was actually a good one. Because I, I think I'm still like 150 away. Iron Fist. And with all the dupes, we might as well open another one. Wow. Okay. So that's actually someone that I need. Corvus Glaive. Still a long ways away from uh, leveling them up to four stars, but 15 more shards will work. So what do y'all think of the swarm event so far? Uh, I am certainly not spending any cores on getting these orbs. The orbs are crappy. They don't have anybody that I need inside the orb except for swarm. Swarm's the only one I actually need. But even if I did, there's like five characters that I can level up, that I should level up, long before I even touch Swarm. So I'm willing to bet that Swarm doesn't even get touched for another two or three months. Maybe. They're just going to sit there. So these orbs, this event, at least for me, is a 100% waste of time. I'm just going to do it because it's free. The character's cool, though. I kind of like um, his abilities, his animations, and things like that. But other than that, man... I'm never going to touch that guy. But anyway, that is going to do it. Not really very successful as far as the red star orbs go. I was kind of hoping I would, I don't know, pull another one. But I did just don't have the patience to go through that thing over and over again. Spend 400,000, 400,000, 400,000 and keep doing it until they finally got one. That's the whole idea behind it. You can keep doing it. I just don't, I don't know, feel like doing it. I just wanted to do this. Hopefully, um, yeah, i see you all again soon. Y'all take it easy. I'm out. Peace.